if you're going to go ahead and indict a former president of the United States, everyone needs to feel the wrath of the U.S. Justice Department. Can't just be the former president, bro, because then it's going to look crazy. It's going to look unduly suggestive. What's your right, thoughts? Right. No, absolutely. And, and it was hilarious. After after we did our last episode, you know, they got on, they tried to say, oh, people are begrudging the professionalism of the FBI. I'm like, well, you know, it, it's a bad look. It looks like the FBI has been weaponized as a political instrument. Now, it's way. done so at the head, right? Merrick Garland is a political appointee, right? So he's inherently a political dude. Um, but it still, it still sets that dangerous precedent that we're going to have every single former president hit. Imagine if there's a Republican. Imagine if Trump's back in. Imagine if Trump somehow is back in office. Yep. Do you think he's not going to look into Biden now? Do you think he would hold back on that? Do you think <laughs> Trump, Donald Trump, would not be a little bit, a little bit, even if it was petty, would say, you know what, we're searching his home. We're yeah. searching Hunter's nice. home. Uh, you know that's going to happen. If yeah, Hunter, Hunter definitely going to get some. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it would just set bad precedent, man. It really would. Um, you've got someone to send box. We, the people ain't about that life. The constitution was ran against tyranny and yet, uh, WTP is letting shit slide. Them snowflakes are actually much tougher. This situation is the proof. Yeah, man. I mean, it, it's wild, man. My, like I said before, I said this on the last podcast. I'm going to say this again, regardless of the fact that I am a Trump supporter to let you guys know, right. For full transparency. I like Donald Trump. Um, I'm not going to say everything he did was perfect. He did a lot of stupid things too. No one is perfect. Everyone does makes mistakes. No, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm a firm believer though, that you don't have to like the president of the United States. Okay. You don't have to like him personally or have him be your friend or whatever. Did they do a good job? Fuck your feelings. Did they do a good job? Now, with that said, objectively speaking for the purposes of, you know, this podcast and uh, you know, the information that we're going to share with you guys, I'm telling you guys that out of transparency. However, my thing is Trump supporter or not, Everyone needs to get the same goddamn treatment when it comes to being investigated by the FBI for public corruption issues or whatever it may be. Hillary Clinton did not get this level of scrutiny with, you know, handling classified information. And I would, you could argue hers were even worse because people died in Benghazi as, as you know, a, a, a link to that. Okay. Um, Hunter Biden's out here doing crack with hookers. That's pretty damn intense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> much worse than putting some do classified documents in your house in Mar-a-Lago, you know? So my thing is everyone needs to be investigated if we're going to go down this road. Okay. It's yep. got to be equal. The badge of the FBI, like I, and I showed you guys this before is a woman with a blindfold holding scales. Okay. That are supposed to be even to define that justice is blind and it's even you gotta, you gotta investigate everybody the same way, baby. That's the way I look at it. You know, regardless of what I like or what I don't like, if you're going to give that energy for Trump, it needs to go for everybody else as well, regardless of, um, you know, political party. That's my only right. thing.